Welcome everyone to Inside the Fight Post Fight UFC 165. What a great event. Top and bottom. I think there was only one card that was one fight that was really boring. But overall it was a great event with fantastic main event, which is easy to fight of the night. But before we get to the main event, let's deal with the cold main event. I guessed it right. My prediction came true. Second round knockout for Burrell, the real champ in my opinion. Brennan Burrell, uh, he did his thing uh, again showing us how dynamic the striking uh, can be, how unpredictable his striking can be. I, I do think he lost the first round though. Uh, I think Wyland was uh, getting the best of him. Uh, but that second round, Burrell came in and uh, that spin kick. I, 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 when I initially saw it, I thought it was a spin kick uh, to the, like, the upper chest, but uh, on the replay I saw that it actually glanced him over the face, uh, face. but uh, that was definitely enough because it, it was like a thrust kick right into it. And uh, he finished him, I, the referee probably stopped a little prematurely, I, but he was in the fetal position. Well, I, I, so. I originally also said that too, I thought the referee jumped in a little too soon, he was in the fetal position where, you know, I'm done. So the referee was saving him, and yeah. I, it was. It, I'm not gonna complain about that call. It was fine. Great fight uh, for Baral. Baral pulled out Dominic Cruz, of course, because everyone keeps calling Dominic Cruz the champ. But in my opinion, he ain't the champ. Now, as far as the main event, though, a little bit of controversy in judging, maybe. Uh, well, first I like to say I want to eat, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alexander Gustafsson definitely brought it. Uh, his takedown defense was immaculate. It was insane. I really didn't think uh, that this fight was going to go uh, too long, but uh, that training with Phil Davis and uh, those boys up there, it, he really has uh, improved his game. I had it three rounds to two Gustafsson, uh, but uh, it, those rounds were so close. Uh, round one, I think Gustafsson had it. Round two, could have gone either way. Uh, round three uh, was definitely good, uh, Gus. Uh, round four, uh, definitely Jones stole that round once he landed that spinning elbow and hurt Gustafsson badly. Uh, and uh, before that elbow, he was losing that round, in my opinion. Uh, then round five, uh, again, another close round, but Jones did get the takedown. Uh, and you know how heavy they rate takedowns in, uh, in MMA. Uh, when it came to the striking department, he also landed a couple of good kicks. Uh, but uh, Gustafsson took that, uh, I don't know if he was hurt, or if he just took a deep breath uh, around like two minutes in into the round, I believe it was. That might have sealed the deal uh, for Jones winning that round. But uh, definitely extremely, extremely close fight. I would love to see these two guys fight again, uh, e even if uh, the Glover takes areas next side. I would like to see Alexander Gustafsson get a rematch. Now, as far as I did, I, I predict the second round knockout for John Jones, and I was wrong with the knockout. John Jones did win, and I did score it for John Jones. I had John Jones taking the second round against your Gustafsson taking mm -hmm. the second round. Yeah, that was a um, close round. Uh, and I said, I, I wasn't going to be mad with the decision, however it went. Who do you give the fifth round to? I gave the fifth round to Jones. Also, I gave his I gave the second round, fourth round, and fifth round to John Jones. I vote the fifth round, that hole where he put his hands down and took that deep breath. Yeah. You know, it, it's a sign that you're weak. And John Jones did everything possible to try to finish that fight because he saw the opening. Unfortunately, both guys, you know, John threw, John Jones threw a lot of kicks. Well, for a guy who, who had... Yeah, a lot of people will question sometimes his cardio. Uh, John Jones fought a really grueling battle. And he was throwing those kicks and spinning attacks with his elbows throughout the entire match. Even though, uh, I think it was, uh, what, eight or nine uh, takedowns? It was not the nine. nine that were blocked. <laughs> nine takedown the uh, snuffs for Gustafsson before John Jones' attempts, takedown attempt, finally worked. And I have to say, Alexander showed me a lot in this fight. But so did Jones. Jones showed that he does have a chin. Yeah, for all those people who said Jones had no chin, he just proved it to you. I don't think anyone said it. that he doesn't have a chin, just that it hasn't been, it hasn't been tested. Well, and guess what? It just got Jones' tested. chin definitely got tested. His face, his face was ran over uh, today. But uh, he definitely survived uh, Alexander Gustafsson's strikes. And uh, he also proved that he could still keep going even to the fifth. 
both guys looked like they were dying. Uh, but again, I would love to see this fight happen again. Now, now that's where the controversy is going to happen. Do we rematch or do we give Glover to Terry his title shot? We'll find out hopefully but during the press conference. Yes. Uh, we, we don't know. But uh, either way, great main event. And uh, John Jones, in my opinion, he was he's a champ, still a champ, and I'm happy with the decision. I know people online going crazy. You're okay with the decision, even though you had yeah, a fork off the I'm, I'm definitely okay with the decision. It was uh, depends how you score some of those rounds. They're they're really really close. Uh, hats off to the champion. If you're gonna beat the champion, you should beat the champion. And uh, I guess Alexander just came up with just a little short, a little short. But that's what we said. Rematch? Why not? I say why not. I would so, love to see it. what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with my opinion on Jones winning that second round, or do you score it completely different? Maybe you're one of the judges that was scoring the Mayweather fight last week. <laughs> or do you agree with well, my brother? Yeah. I think one of the judges gave it 49. Like he called it a draw. He called it a fucking draw. You can't do that. I mean, come oh, on. I'm talking about the boxing. I'm talking about the boxing. As far as anime, I mean, you know, there was one judge that did score a little weird. And when that you know what? That's actually funny you say that. When that score was red, we both thought we were a new champ. Yeah. We did. I, 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 will, I will admit that. When that judge read that score, I thought we had a new champ because, like I said, I had it three rounds to two. No way there was a four. No, Jones won four rounds in this fight. Just not possible. I mean, the rounds were close, but in my opinion, they tipped over to Gustin Sands for that second round. Yeah. Well, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Agree? Don't agree? Who do you want to see next for the title fight? Do you agree with Baral being the champ, or? Do you still think Dominic Cruz is the champ? Because I don't. I don't know. Just leave it at that. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Anything? Any last final words? No. Yeah. Okay. Arrow's gone.